Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Absolute Bucket versus Shock Scraper 77, and this is going to be another post info replay, and we will see Shock Scraper 77 win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot, and then they will decide to go first 42 versus 41. Opening hands, we have Drytron, Minonis, Draco Nids, Alpha, Talents, Fafnir, Alpha. They have Memento, Ange Witch, Dark Blade, Seahorse, Mystical Sheep, and Bone Party. Okay, so I don't know what Mystical Sheep does. This is probably a new one. Uh, this card says, if a monster or monsters in your possession was destroyed by card effect this turn, quick effect, you can special summon this card from your hand. Uh, if this card is normal, summon a special summon except during the damage step. You can fusion summon one Memento Fusion Monster from your extra deck using monsters from your uh, hand or field as material. Uh, if this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can send one memento card from the deck to the graveyard. You can only use each effect of this card once per turn. Okay, so they're going to go ahead, go main phase, seahorse effect. So special summon out, and then they can use the effect to destroy itself, and then go ahead and dump. So we will dump the gothic, goblin, and mace. Okay, so gothic effect will activate to special summon itself out here. Yeah, so effect, uh, special summon out, and then we don't use the effect to add back. Okay, we go normal summon out, Ange Witch. Ange Witch effect to go search out Horn Dragon. And then Ange Witch effect to go ahead, pop, and summon back out Mace. Okay, and then Mace effect, pop the Gatic. Go ahead, search out the fusion spell. So do you have anything and you want me to speed through this? Uh, they're going to go activate fusion spell now. Go ahead, uh, shuffle back two and pop maze. Okay, well, I guess just use the one off the field. Okay, okay, okay. So bring out Memento, Michelin, Teshuliklia, Combined Conqueror. Okay, so this is the new fusion monster. So it says you can banish this card from the graveyard, add one Memento McTalon from the decks of the hand. Uh, you cannot. Activate the following effects of this card in the same chain link. Okay, at this card's fusion summon, you can send three memento cards from your deck or extra to the graveyard. That's a huge effect for this deck. Quick effect, you can target an equal number of memento monsters you control and cards the opponent controls and destroy them. Okay, that's also really good with the mystical sheep. Yeah, that's pretty good with the mystical sheep too. So, fusion effect to go ahead and dump, so they dump. One of the fusion monsters. Oh, dump itself. So it waits in the graveyard. Banish and add. Okay. Fracture dance. Which I'm pretty sure this is just the battle one, right? Uh, when an attack is uh, declared involving your memento monster and an opponent's monster, banish the card from the graveyard. All monsters your opponent controls, currently controls, lose a thousand attack until the end of the turn. And then, oh, but we're going to try to add this back. Okay, so that way we have the pop. Okay. Um... Yeah, well, I guess pop two if we get that set up, which we probably will, and then dump Dark Blade. So now we're going to go activate the Fusion Graveyard effect to go ahead and search out the Field Spell. Activate Field Spell, and then Sheep effect, Special Summon out, Sheep effect to go Fuse, bring out the Twin Dragon. This says any monster to survive battle with your Memento monster is banished. You can use... Or you can only use each of the following effects of this card once per turn. If this card is fusion summon, you can destroy one memento monster in your hand or face up on the field. And if you do, add up to two memento monsters with different names from the decks of the hand. And then, if this card is fu or if this fusion summon card is destroyed, you can special summon one level six or lower memento from your graveyard. Okay, so we will activate the effect to destroy and go ahead and search out combined creation and goblin. And then field spell effect and twin dragon effect so we will summon back out the gatic and summon back out goblin now gatic effect to add back fusion spell okay so that's why we didn't use it earlier on uh we make sprint oh we make sprint okay uh sprint effect huh dump falco set falco okay summon out horn dragon summon out combined creation by shuffling back Goblin, Twin, Dark Blade, Sheep, and Mace. Alright. And then go set Bone Party and Fusion Spell. End phase. Field Spell to go ahead and set the Fracture Dance. Pass turn. They draw Zeta. Are we trying to make Winda? Like, that's why we had to do this, right? Um, oh, this can just summon Winda. Oh, okay. 
Sure. Activate field spell. Go ahead. Search out Nova. Activate Nova. Set on res of the field spell thing. Uh, they're going to activate the effect to special summon back out Gatuk. And then Gatuk effect to add back the Dark Blade. Okay, now activate Talents to take. Take the Fusion Monster. Activate Nova. Chain Fracture Dance to go ahead. Try to pop. And then they want to chain the effect. Uh, which will be able to pop itself. And then a card the opponent controls. Okay, so try to pop itself plus combined creation, chain the fusion spell uh, to go ahead and bring out window. And then, yeah, tons of stuff's gonna get popped there. And then they said all of that, and I just lose to window. Yeah, nice. Okay, so on to the next game now. Drytron will go first. Opening hands, we have Cyber Emergency, Diviner, Drytron, New 2, Zeta, Chicken Game. They have Ash Blossom, Imperm. Fusion spell, Dark Blade Fusion spell. So we will start off with Chicken Game, pay a thousand to draw into new two. Activate Cyber Emergency to go ahead and search out Alpha. So now we have Alpha, Zeta, new two, Diviner. So that's a lot of pushes here. Activate Alpha, uh, Tribute for Cost. So Tribute Zeta, the Ash Blossom it. And then we're going to go Zeta, Tribute, new two, Special Summon out. Go ahead and search out the Ritual spell. And then new two hand effect. Wait, you can special summon the card from your hand or graveyard. Why not just summon the one from the graveyard? Uh, summon out and then effect. Uh, go ahead, search out the ultimate bright knight Urison Alpha. Okay. Oh, is this just? Oh, okay. So it's treated as a Drytron. Uh, cannot be normal summoned or set. Must be special summoned by card effect. If you control a Uristic or Drytron monster, except. A copy of itself. You can special summon this card from your hand, then you can add one Euristic or Drytron Spar Trap from the decks of the hand. Okay, so hand effect, special summon out, and then go ahead and search out the Drytron Field Spell. Activate Drytron Field Spell to go ahead and search out the Drytron Trap, which I'm going to read over this card again. It says if a Drytron card or cards is banished, except during the damage step, you can tribute one Drytron monster, target up to two of your banished Drytron cards, add them to your hand. Then it says you can reveal one of the Drytron Ritual spells in your hand to go ahead and Ritual Summon a Machine Ritual Monster from your hand or graveyard by tributing machines from your hand or field whose total attack equals or exceeds the attack of the Ritual Monster. Okay, so Overlay, make Mu Beta. Mu Beta effect, get hit with Imperm. Normal Diviner effect on Herald of Arclight. Herald of Arclight, go ahead, search out Drytron, Mionos, Alpha, Draco Nids, and then Ritual Spell to Tribute. Special summon out, and then ritual spell effect, add back, make the ritual lose a thousand attack, and then, yeah, that's fine, okay, and then set trap past turn. So, oh, uh, that's interesting, okay, because this is two interruptions on monsters, and the opponent doesn't really have too much. They, drew, they do draw Angewitch for turn, normal dark blade effect, discard Angewitch, try to pop the back row, chain to go ahead, negate, and destroy. Then they're going to activate Fusion Spell. Oh, since one was destroyed by card effect. Okay, so go ahead, put back, and then bring out the Twin Dragon. Twin Dragon effect to try to go ahead and pop, and then search. They're going to chain the Alpha to banish two to stop that. Then they just submit defeat. Okay, so on to game number three now. Uh, we will see the Memento deck go first. We have Emergency, Lightning Storm, New 2, Alpha, Evenly. They have... Cranium Burst says, why you control a Memento monster? Your opponent's monsters that can attack must attack the Memento you control with the highest attack, their choice of Tide. And then it says, when your opponent uh, activates a monster effect on the field except during the damage step, you target one combined creation you control, it loses exactly 1,000 attack and defense, and if it does, negate the activated effect. Okay. And then Mystical Sheep, Shadal Falco, Goblin, and then the Field Spell. Which I'm guessing the Field Spell is like... Not even that good to draw anymore, just because you can always do, like, fusion uh, from the extra deck to get to it. Uh, normal Mystical Sheep effect, go ahead and make Twin Dragon. Twin Dragon effect, pop, go ahead and search out the Seahorse and the Horn Dragon. And then Twin Dragon Graveyard effect, summon back out Goblin. Goblin effect, destroy itself, and then go ahead and destroy the Fusion Spell and Fracture Dance. And then special summon out the Horn Dragon, special summon out the Seahorse. Seahorse effect, pop the Twin Dragon to go ahead and pop Dark Blade, Gatic, Mace, and Goblin from the deck. And then Field Spell effect to special summon back out. And Gatic effect to summon itself out. So special, special, 
And then new chain link gothic to add back the fusion spell. Okay, dark blade effect to go ahead, pop, and then special summon out Angewitch. Angewitch effect, go ahead, search out the combined creation. Angewitch to pop and special back out the mace from the graveyard. And then mace effect uh, to go ahead and search out the bone party. And then fusion spell, putting back three. And then summon out the combined conqueror. Effect, go ahead, dump the Dark Blade, Ange Witch, and Seahorse. Sure. And then we link off into IP. And then put back 5, 3, 4, 5. Summon out the Combined Creation. And then set uh, Cranium Burst, uh, Bone Party. And then set the Fusion Spell at End Phase. And then pass turn. Okay, they draw Zeta. So now we're going to go Main Phase. Uh, battle phase, and then end of battle, evenly, chain bone party, to go ahead, destroy, and search for the mystical sheep, okay, and then banish tons of cards face down, um, okay, now we're just gonna go lightning storm to try to pop the fusion spell, the chain fusion spell, uh, to go ahead and put back and bring out twin dragon, sure, Oh, uh, because they have this, the, you can fusion summon one memento fusion. Okay, this only summons out a memento, though, not a window. Uh, so effect to pop, go search out combined creation and Gatic, And then twin dragon graveyard effect to special summon back out from the graveyard. And witch. And then and witch effect to go search to go grab out the horn dragon. Okay, so it looks like we're just trying to set up as much as possible for the next turn. We do have, what, double pop still? Uh, alpha, Tribute, Special, go Search, grab out the Ben 10, and then now we're going to go New 2, Special Summon out, Effect to go Search, and then said, ah, don't think I can side out the level 7 and trap package, interesting, if I'm siding evenly, that is. Uh, so they're going to go ahead and search out Alpha, Draco, Nids, and then Overlay in the Mu Beta, Mu Beta, Effect go Dump, the Delta, Tribute, Ben 10, Special Summon out, Delta, reveal and draw and then ben 10 effect to go ahead and search so go search out ben 10 okay zeta tribute ben 10 special summon go search out ritual spell ben 10 go ahead search out diviner and then here they're gonna go sheep special summon sheep effect to fuse use itself plus two from hand to bring out the combined conqueror or con Koi or I forgot how to say that word, but activate the effects, special summon itself out. Oh, so it's actually pop three because we haven't got to summon itself out yet. Okay, and then this will go ahead and dump the fusion spell, seahorse, and bone party. And then Gothic effect to add back. Uh, so that will go ahead and add back the fusion spell. And then we have this effect to go ahead, pop all of our cards, just pop every card on the field. Yeah, so pop the entire field here. Uh, pop three of our cards and an equal amount of the cards the opponent controls. Emergency into Drytron Gamma. Normal Diviner. Diviner dump Herald of Arclight. Herald of Arclight. Go ahead, search out the Draco Nids. And then, yeah, so we're able to still play through this somewhat. Uh, I forget what this locks us into exactly, right? You cannot ritual summon the turn you activate this except for machines. Okay. So, Tribute. The Draco Nids, summon out Gamma, summon out Zeta, Ritual Spell, Tribute the Alpha Draco Nids to summon out the uh, just regular Draco Nids. Ritual Spell Effect, add itself back, make Gamma lose a thousand, Overlay, make Mu Beta, activate Ritual Spell, uh, go ahead, and okay, bring out the Alpha Draco Nids off that, sure, pass, they draw Dark Blade, and then they're gonna go Normal Summon Dark Blade, nothing on Summon there. And then they're gonna go ahead. Oh, there's a contact. Oh, it's not contact trees. Never mind. Summon out combined creation. Okay, so put back five. Summon out combined creation. And then activate dark blade effect. Chain Draco Nids to banish. And then try to go ahead, pop, pop. And then anything in response? No. Okay. Uh, now. Uh, what, they put back five to summon out combined creation again, okay. Oh, that's not once per turn, I see. Yeah, now, fusion spell effect, banish pop, go ahead, search out bone party. 
Yeah, activate fusion spell, putting back uh, two from the graveyard, summon out the twin dragon, and then we have twin dragon effect to go ahead and pop. We're going to chain to go ahead and negate and destroy that. Then they chain bone party, so destroy the twin dragon anyways. And then go ahead, special summon out Angewitch, new chain link, Angewitch effect. Yeah, we won't get twin dragon since there's nothing to summon back out. So summon out the Angewitch, and then activate the effect. They're going to go ahead, chain the Draco Nids. Uh, yeah, it's just GG's. Go ahead and negate and destroy that. So GG's, GG's. Um, okay. So it's interesting that they're playing Window in their deck. And it's cool that they can, like, get access to it through their engine. Uh, and then, I don't know. The Drytron deck still seems pretty weird to me. Like, this is a really good card. I guess maybe if you just send on, like, this, plus, like, Mu Beta and Draco Nids, like, all three of them. I guess, I guess it's probably just, like, enough a majority of the time. Like, a spell trap negate. Two monster negates and destroys. The destroy part's huge. And then you have this to just go ahead and, you know, banish and go ahead and send. Or does it destroy? I'm pretty sure it just sends, though. Um, yeah, send to the graveyard. Okay. Um, yeah, that's going to be it for the video. And with all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.